close your eyes and watch your breath. Keep the mind with the breath. Think of the breath as being like a leash for the mind. You want to stay right here. And take an interest in the breath, because the breath is the force that has a huge impact on how the rest of the body is working. If the breath is in good shape, that helps the body be in good shape as well. If the breath is not healthy, the body is going to suffer. That's the same with the mind. If the mind isn't healthy, it's going to cause suffering not only for you, but for the people around you, too. This is why we have to train the mind. It's like training an animal. If you don't train the animal, it's going to make messes all over the house. It doesn't come when you call. It doesn't sleep when you want it to go to sleep. It's just a lot of, a lot of hassle. But when you train the animal, then you can do the work that you want it to do, and when it's time for it, you want it to rest, it'll rest. In other words, you can get along really well. The animal doesn't cause you a lot of suffering. It's the same with the mind. If the mind is not trained, it can cause you a lot of suffering. You can just sit very still and think up all kinds of things to make yourself suffer, just because of the thoughts of the mind. And some of these thoughts, when they take over, they really take over. In other words, you're, you seem to be less and less in charge, and they're more and more in charge, which is one of the reasons we train it, by meditating. You make up the mind you're going to stay with the breath, and you make sure that it stays with the breath. If it winds off a little bit, you have it come right back, right back, each time, each time, right back. And at the same time, you give it something comfortable to play with, with the breath. So it's not just sitting there waiting for the next chance to run away. You, you realize that the breath energy in your body is what keeps you healthy, what keeps you strong, keeps you alive. And so you want to look into this. This is one area of life where the computers haven't taken over yet. And they really can't. How you experience things from inside, nobody else can get in and do that for you. You're the one who has to figure things out from within. How to breathe, how to think, how not to think. You get instructions from outside, but you have to do the training. And the training here means staying right here so you can explore, so you can see for yourself. And you can develop powers of judgment that you can rely on. And the ability to think when you want to think, and not to think when you realize the thinking is unhealthy or unskillful. These are important skills to have. This is why we have to train the mind. Because without these skills, the mind is just going to create lots of messes in your life. So look at this as an opportunity to take the mind in hand and train it so that it's not continually making you suffer. Then you can get along a lot better. And this way you don't have to go looking outside for your happiness. You find that a sense of well-being. You is, there is a sense of well-being you can create from within that it counteracts the suffering that you create from within. And when there's no suffering created within, nothing is going to trouble the mind. Even things outside won't trouble the mind, because you've got your true source of happiness right here. <laughs>